Hello, and welcome to the Electric Factory. It's Michael Serio here with you, and tonight, Within Temptation, from the Netherlands and straight to your heart, and Sharon, or Sharon? No, Sharon. See? Sharon. Sharon. Yeah, I know. It's way too difficult. Just say Sharon. Oh, see, that's rude. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. That's why America's <laughs> awful. It's like, my name is this thing, but it's too tough for you, so just call me Sharon. I don't want to do no, that. It's the same. You write it the same way, it's, but you pronounce it in a different way in Dutch. Room? Sharon? Sharon. Okay. We'll go with that. That'll probably be the last time I'll say your name. <laughs> yeah, <go laughs> right. uh, how's your day been in Philadelphia? I love Philadelphia. Downtown, it's great. It's really a uh, good vibe. A lot of nice, uh, well... You know, nice uh, uh, cafes and stuff, and okay. uh, yeah, nice boutiques and uh, all kinds of things. Nice comic store we went to. You went to the comic store? Yeah, we did. And, all, and the guys and me, yeah, we, we love awesome. comics. Yeah. Did you buy comics today? Um, I didn't buy comics, but uh, Ruth did. Yeah, I had to buy some, some Wolverine dolls for my kids. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because, so the kids, there's three right yeah, now? Three, yeah. Do they come along uh, on no, the road with you? No. Do you see them? No. Uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't put them in this room for them. sure, but I didn't know if maybe we were hiding them in a child <laughs> safety kind of place here at the electric factory. So they're back, uh, home, they're back yeah, over there. Yeah, home. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. Is that tough uh, now that, I mean, you have been doing this for a long, long time. Is it tougher yeah. now with the three kids? Do you go, ah, oh, I don't want to leave you guys. Well, it's always between, you're in between two worlds, of course. I love, you know, I couldn't be the musician without having my family. I couldn't have, just be the mom without my music. So it's, I need to both to be who I am. And I think that it goes for the rest of the band as well. Is it ever where they just get on your nerves and go, thank God I'm going on tour next month? Yes, sometimes, yes. <laughs> of course. Sure. Sure. You know, the thing that I think is really cool about Within Temptation is how much you guys care about your fans. I've been watching some of the video diaries that are on the website, and you guys spotlight a fan of the week each week, too, which I think yeah. is really cool. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, well, it's something that we... It's, it's good to, to, to highlight uh, when somebody new at, at, at becomes, uh, you know, interested in the band and you just highlight them. And, uh, and also people can... Well, get in t contact with each other more easily because somehow they communicate easily w with each other. And also when there's a highlight, it's like, whoa, yay, there's a shout out for him or her. When you are back home, you guys are the biggest selling band in the Netherlands. Like, w is it possible for you to just walk around and go get a cup of coffee if you want to? Oh, yes. Yeah. But, uh, the thing is, uh, we are, of course, are in, in, in a certain type of scene, more mainstream, but also in the, in the metal scene. And, and, but also, uh, the thing is, in, uh, in Holland and Europe, for us, is that people are very down to earth. They're like, especially Holland, people are like very Calvinistic. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's more like, um, so uh, it's more like if people come up to you, they say, are you from that band? <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. Like, I think that's her. Yeah, can I have an autograph? And then it's like, pfft, and then they just off, walk off again, like nothing happens. So really? Like, is that the general demeanor? It's yes. never like, oh my God! No, unless you're a teen idol, then that's different. Right. But we're not, so. <laughs> you guys uh, put out a new album this year, uh, Hydra, which came out in February. And I'm a little behind on my mythology. Hydra is the one with all the different heads, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's the one you cut off and it comes a new one, or two new ones come on and grow on again. If you would have told me uh, in like 2001 that on your album you would feature the lead singer of Soul Asylum and Exhibit, I would go, you're crazy, you're not doing that. <laughs> How did well, that all come to be? Uh, well, we had just had a wish list for certain songs and uh, there were quite a lot actually, of four or five, and it's like we never thought that everybody would say yes, and they, the songs would work out with everybody because sometimes tonalities don't work, or maybe a certain kind of, well, um, time-wise it w might not work out, and everything just worked out perfectly. And uh, the thing was that um, when we told people like we want to have actually in combination with our kind of music with rap, people just called us crazy. It's like, oh, you're gonna lose everybody who ever loved you. They're gonna hate you. Right. <laughs> and we thought that, that's an interesting thought. We have to do this. Yeah, well then, let's try that. <laughs> yeah. And we had, of course, the, the good example of Aerosmith and Run DMC. And, of course, there have been many bands doing it in metal, but um, this combination, of course. And, but I think not nobody with our kind of music, because we have this typical European sound, orchestral sound. Mm -hmm. And... and um, we felt like, you know, this could be possible. Just We just had to find the right song for it. And when we did, it was just one-on-one, um, -on -one just happened very quickly because we were said to our, our uh, BMG Rights, which is our record company in, 
in uh, well publisher in the uh, in uh, in Europe for a big part, and we said like yeah, we would like to have actually exhibit. Oh, I know somebody. I know his management. It's like oh, really? I was like, is yeah, that really how it went? Yeah, you said, yeah. hey, we want exhibit, and yeah. someone goes, we can. Uh, yeah, we, can we, we have a we friend know, who yeah, has a friend yeah, who knows yeah, exhibit. No, they knew the management, and they just directly called, and within two weeks, we were talking to him or through Skype. So it was like. Sometimes, awesome. yeah. <laughs> so did you go? Did you set up the laptop and log on and just start skyping with Exhibit? Uh, yeah, that's how it went. I wasn't. I wasn't there actually. Robert had the conversation, the first conversation with him. But well, we met him when we went to LA uh, beginning this year, and okay. uh, we met up. So it was really fun. I want to. I think I didn't know skyping with Exhibit was on my bucket list, but it totally <laughs> is on my bucket list now. Well, I'm glad this went well because that pool cue still makes me a little, a little <laughs> bit nervous. But tonight at the Electric Factory, it's within temptation. Sharon or Sharon? Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs>